Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennison Reflective Tips and Tricks Traffic Jet 101. Today we're going to walk you through a quick overview of the control panel. If you look at the top left corner of the control panel, you'll see the power light. So you can see right now it's glowing a solid blue, which simply means the printer's on. When you send a file to the printer to print, that light will start to flash blue, simply telling you that it's receiving data. In the top right corner, you have the error light. This is going to notify you when your ink is low, ink is out, you're missing a cartridge, or you've got an error message by lighting up orange. So just to give you an example, I'm going to pull the cartridge out of spot four. So you can see now my light is glowing orange and it gives me the message for no cartridge, which simply means we're missing a cartridge from spot four. It's going to give you a very similar message if you are, your ink is low and the cartridge needs to be replaced or the ink is out completely from the system. So in every case, it's gonna tell you which location you need to have a cartridge replaced. If you have multiple cartridges at once that need to be replaced, it's going to let you know by one long text string. So an example would be if it says 1-6 ink low, it simply means the spot one and spot six cartridges need to be replaced. And just below the display to the left, you'll see it gives the option for head height. So if I adjust the head height, you'll see that the lights change. So right now I'm set to low, or I can switch to high, or when I'm on medium, you'll see both lights light up. And that simply just gives you a visual notification how the printer is set. So you'll see just below the head height, you've got the button to access the, the submenus. You also notice the next item here is nozzle check. So if I were to hold down this left button for two seconds, it'll perform a nozzle check, which is simply a quick little test print to verify that all the nozzles are printing correctly and none are blocked. To the right side of the panel, you can see the cleaning tree. So in the top right, you have the, the length of your clean. So if you tap the button, you can cycle through the different lengths, going from a long clean to normal to short. I'd recommend always leaving it on long as your time between a long, normal, and short isn't much different, but you're always going to guarantee to not have to do a second clean in most cases, where the long is going to always be sufficient. The other option here is to actually to initiate the cleaning cycle. So if you hold down the right button for two seconds, it's going to initiate that cleaning cycle based on whatever length you have selected here. If you look at the center of the directional pad for your up and down arrows, this simply moves the media backwards and forwards. So you press up to feed it backwards, down to feed it forward, and this just allows you to line up your media correctly so you're using your sheeting the most efficiently. In the bottom right corner, you'll find the button for enter or to initiate a crosscut. The enter button is simply used within the submenus on the control panel to move from screen to screen. The cutting, if you hold it down for two seconds, it'll initiate a cross cut. Unfortunately, the cutter does not have enough force to cut through prismatic retroreflective films, so I wouldn't recommend using it for, for most applications. 